Hello everyone and welcome to my Orange County vlog for the Real Housewives of Orange County. Week 14 and 15. Oh my gosh. I've been so busy working on other Bravo projects like Game of Crowns that I had to skip a vlog, but I'm here to make it up because we have to talk about last week's episode at Lizzie's party. Holy crap. Everything hit the fan. Poor Shannon. I felt so bad. I really think that she's really, she says her feelings are hurt. I think she's getting really picked on. I'm shocked at Tamara. I shouldn't be shocked at Tamara, but I am shocked at Tamara. She's getting caught in all of these lies. I don't know what the hell's going on with her. She wants to have a baby. She gets a toy baby. She complains about the toy baby. And uh, come on, get your shit together. Vicky, on the other hand, it's been forever since I've liked Vicky. I'm sorry, Vicky. You know, you've been under construction for a while. It's okay. I'm seeing a light at the end of the project. I'm loving you this season. I'm loving your humor. I'm loving your outfits. I'm loving the girls. Everything looks good. In fact, I'm even starting to love Brooks. You are just <laughs> the peacemaker this season. And I love you in this role. Keep it up, Vicki. Love you. All right, poor Shannon. You know, we're at Lizzie's party. Everything's coming down. Shannon has told Vicki, she told Shannon, that Terry Devereaux says he's going to take the Bedores down and denies it at the very end, which causes Shannon to freak out. Quote, unquote, they are saying having a breakdown. I don't think Shannon's having a breakdown. I think Shannon's just pissed, and so would I be. So, fast forward to, to this week's episode. It's a little more tamer. We Poor Lizzie has her birthday party. <laughs> Nobody shows up. Nice. Vicky, we see a little glimpse of the old Vicky before she gets on the bus saying, oh, I can't believe I got to spend time with Dumb and Dumber. But I'm glad Lizzie's mature enough to overlook it because she was the only one that showed up for her birthday. Good for you, Vicky. Just try to say that in the car next time and not as you're walking up to the bus. Um, so Lizzie has her mild birthday party, but Lizzie also realizes and knows Vicky's told her, yeah, Tamara said that. Tamara said that to her, that Terry said this. It's all a bunch of crap. I can't even imagine Terry saying this. You know, I like Terry a lot. I, I watch his show, uh, Botched. I think it's hilarious. I love it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a weird thing. I hope we get to see what happens at the end of this season or even in the reunion. Um, the end of this episode, Heather and Tamara sit down with Shannon and with Vicky there, thank goodness, to be a buffer. And you know what? Shannon shows us again how she can rise above everything. Shannon may be kooky with all of her holistic element healing stuff, but she's driving a Range Rover and putting her phone to her face with all the radiation. <laughs> but at least she owns it. And I think that's what we all love as fans love about Shannon. She at least owns it. She speaks clearly. She speaks her mind. And I'm glad she was big enough to say, you know what, let bygones be bygones, let cheers, and let's go to Belize. So I'm really excited to see um, next week's episode. I love it when the girls travel. I love it when they fall off things like canoes and animals and stuff. So I'm super, super excited to see that. All right, guys, let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at Comedy Jonah. I try to live tweet as much as I can, but I would love to hear your thoughts on what you think. So let me know. All right, until next week. Bye for now, kittens. Mwah.